All right, we are back once again, DDC TV, and I have a very, 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 very special person. I gave you two extra berries because <laughs> we go back quite a ways, and we are very happy to have Miss Aisha Watson here with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, my dear. And thank you for having me. Yes, yes. yes excited, yes. excited to be a part of this adventure yes one of decatur's finest thank you thank you no pun intended no pun intended so let's just start there because um you are for me you're like hometown home okay. team okay you know what yeah. i mean yeah but for those who are watching from all over the world um you know most people just think of atlanta as atlanta right right we have sides of atlanta mm -hmm. and um you know, we're both from the east side. So tell us a little bit about, you know, growing up in Decatur. Um, right. We'll take it from here. Well, of course, I'm from Decatur, Georgia. Um, born and raised. Well, I was actually born in Atlanta. Um, born and raised in Decatur. I grew up there, went to elementary, middle school, high school. And actually, my parents still live in that in Decatur area. So I visit from time to time. Um, so I love Decatur. But, but not enough to stay there, though. Not enough to stay there. I had to get out of there. <laughs> I've moved to a whole other part of Georgia now, but um, the greater was greater. I love it, you know. Okay, so. okay, okay. So, you've been dancing pretty much your whole life. My entire life. So, tell us, like, where did it start? Tell us how, you know, you got started and your mom's influence on everything. Well, um, I want to say I started dancing probably like I was about three years old. Um, my mom would put me in different dance groups and dance activities. I was in gymnastics and cheerleading. And so I really want to say my dance really took off probably once I got to middle school. We had a little dance group called Daddy's Little Girls. We performed at parade, um, proms and the dances like at Chapel Hill that was in Decatur. Um, we would put, um, perform and put on little shows and so forth. So that's where my dancing really took off before the um, after the cheerleading. Then I went to the high school, of course, from South to Cab, and, and I danced there on the drill team. And then from there, I went to Morris Brown and so forth and danced at Morris Brown College dance team. And I was there for like four years. And okay, well, so hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you've been with the whole I'm going to get off the line. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, that's where it started. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it started off with Daddy's Little Girls was kind of your first show experience. Yes, it was so our, our first little dance group because we used to dance all the time. We would like get in the neighborhood and make up little dance routines and, you know, sing and rap and stuff. But this was our first official group with dance. Okay, so back in those days, um, there was, and Atlanta is a dance city. Absolutely. It has changed since it kind of got bigger mm -hmm. and more people moved here. Mm -hmm. The culture has changed. Yes. But Atlanta used to have a unique dance culture. Yes. So do you remember uh, some of the popular things that was going on around that time? Split. Some things that were going around on that time, around that time, and still going on is the the yeeking. You know, everybody remember we used to do the yeet. And yeah. They were doing that, the Reebok, the prep. You know, they were doing the they were getting crunk, the crank cranking. They still do that to this day. Um, I don't want to say nothing's really changed in that aspect because some of the people still, some of the groups still keep that and incorporate that into their dance. However, I would say because so many people have moved from different cities, they incorporate their own style. Right. And then, of course, with the social media plan, and then they just make up some stuff. Right. You know, they might be doing some crazy stuff like, you know, mopping, and then they make it a song, you know, the mop, mop. So they just kind of take some stuff and just make it a dance. But back then, people made, really made routines. People really was dressing accordingly. People, um, when we had the dance groups, we wanted to make sure it was all intact. Um, our music was right. Our location. We really put together a set like you could put on a concert. Mm -hmm. You know, so... That was the difference between then and now, now and then. So, um, with the dance, because now it's not scripted, it's just whatever. You know, they might pick up a camera, camera dance, the cameraman. Right. <laughs> but you were like, okay, and then everybody in the club, cameraman, camera dance. Right, right. But then, you know, back then it was the, and everybody did things in a group form. So that was pretty much what we did back then. Okay, so I'm gonna, before we continue with your um, story, I want to throw a couple of dances out there okay. and just give us a quick number, zero to ten, okay. of where this dance ranks in your eyes. Okay. 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 Alright, so we'll start with um, the swish. You know what the, the swish, swish is? This one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say about six or seven. 
Okay. Only because the kids love it and it's a fun dance and it's stupid and silly, but yeah, it's not something if you want to be sexy and cute. It's not nothing you definitely want to do. Right, yeah. right. Well, you know, it's funny because um, uh, what's the name of that video game uh, that has all the dances in it? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Mm -hmm. So they're taking all these dances, right? And basically, people are starting to try to sue them. So the backpack kid, I don't know if you've heard of this, but he supposedly was the guy who started the Swish dance. Is he trying to sue, really? No, you know what? It's not the Swish, it's the floss. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who who started. I thought it was, I know it was a little Caucasian boy, I think, that okay, started it. Okay, right. But they said that the dance actually started like 10 years before that. And they have YouTube video footage of people doing it. And he went, he actually tried to sue Fortnite. Really? Like he created this, the uh, dance. Right. And now people are coming out saying, hey, you didn't even create the dance, dude. And, and dances can be just like with the mop. I'm just using the mop for example. I was literally in my studio, dance studio, about three years ago, and I was sweeping my dance studio, and I was telling the girls, "Get the mop, let's mop, let's mop, mop." This is a new dance called the mop, and I promise you, like when this dance came out last year, in right. this year, it's a dance called the mop. And I'm right. like, does somebody steal my idea? <laughs> but you know, dance is so free. Right. You know, unless you really put a patent on it. It's not your dance. If right. you didn't put a trademark on it, whatever. It's right, right, right. Okay, all right, well, bank head bounce. It depends on what setting I'm in. If I'm in a, like an old school, it could be a 10. But if I'm somewhere and it's like, I want to be cute, one. Mm. I'm not going to do the bank head bounce now. But you know, it's old school. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going I'm to I'm stay old school here for a minute. Rag top. Same thing. Depends on what kind of setting you're in. Um, it could be <laughs> about a nine or ten, okay. you know, because it's a fun dance and right. it's old school. So. Right, 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 right. Okay, have you heard of the Bill Cosby? Mm mm. What is the Bill Cosby? It's got to be the funniest dance to me. Um, basically, somebody saw Bill Cosby coming out of the courthouse, right? And he was walking <laughs> down the road, and he looked back, and so they made a dance. I like, think I heard of that. You know, they yeah. did like three seconds like this. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I do. I did, I saw them do it, but I didn't know it was called a big girl. <laughs> See what I'm saying? They just make up stuff. Right, 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 <laughs> okay, cool. right. I think that would probably be funny. I like it, though. It's mm -hmm. probably about a nine. Okay. 